for me to be here as president of this organization, I'm really pleased to see the growth in the organization in my time being here. I remember as a young woman when Deaf Victoria was established. And I'm very proud to see that 38 years later, it is still continuing. Also, as I said earlier, COVID has had a big impact on the organisation. And also many impacts on the deaf community, whether it's communication challenges, the big change to the lifestyle with COVID, barriers to accessing interpreters. There's been a wide, a wide range of impacts. I would like to congratulate the staff for getting through such a difficult, unprecedented time and from quickly working from home and working very hard to keep the organisation afloat, being responsive to clients and the community in a very professional manner. I think that's a credit to the team. One of the big hot topics at the moment, which Brent Phillips will be talking about later tonight as our guest speaker, is deaf leadership. To have a deaf manager of this organisation, for, for, me, for a period of time, we didn't have a manager. And our last deaf manager was perhaps four or five years ago. And it had been the staff managing and it's had its positives, but also some challenges. But it's important that this is a deaf-led organisation, established by deaf people for deaf people. So it's important that it is led by a deaf person. However, I do acknowledge as well that employment opportunities here in Victoria, there are more opportunities out there available now than what there ever was before. So there's a lot of competition with opportunities for people to get great employment. Throughout COVID, the challenges we've had, we've been very fortunate to have Maxine Buxton, who is an amazing interpreter. She's very experienced and well-known in the community. And she's recognised as an ally. We're pleased to have Maxine on to be leading the organisation. But I do want to be clear, and I've said this many times, that we are still committed to have a deaf manager here at Deaf Victoria. And that is going to be one of our key focuses for the next 12 months, is to recruit a skilled deaf manager to lead this, lead this organisation. We're also looking forward to working with Expression Australia as they have provided a lot of support to us at Deaf Victoria. As I mentioned before, the staff are just amazing. Without them, we would not have achieved and done the things that we have done. Their work ethic, communication, their commitment to delivering to the community across many different projects is outstanding. I'd like to thank Sherry, Kate and Sarah, who work with me, you know, um, I'd been their manager. And until we had Maxine come in, they reported directly to me. The deaf community as a whole has worked very, worked very collaboratively and also with the support of Expression Australia to help us see some errors and some oversights within our constitution and governance. It has been a great learning opportunity for all of us. We've had planning days and workshops, conflict, conflict resolution, and we have a commitment to continue training and developing together as an organisation. Key things for us at the moment is financial sustainability. Previously, we used to receive block fundings from DHHS to keep us afloat. However, with the incoming of NDIS, it has changed things. We do get some annual grants, but it's not always enough to help cover our running costs. We've been fortunate to get other grants, but we still need to apply again and again to keep our finances and our organisation sustainable. We've had 
a great deal of support through Expression Australia to help us in-house with services and to support us building a stronger financial position. Now, the future that we have for us, we're still looking forward to working with the board. The board, the last 12 months have been fantastic, very engaged, supportive, and eager to learn and grow. We, build, we will be reviewing our strategic plan and look forward to consulting with our members and friends of the organisation with ideas of how we can move forward, strategic ideas or changes to our values. Alex Tay will be leaving the board and I'd like to acknowledge his many years of service. Thank you.